There are some really cool looking outfits you can get in Assassin's Creed Mirage. I will tell you how. And others are really overpowered. Like one makes you completely silent so enemies cannot hear you. And another one lets you cheat death. But first, Milot's outfit. Yes, Mirage has an Izu outfit that looks pretty cool. Also great without the mask, which you can of course see during cutscenes. I wish it was an option to toggle that on and off, like in Valhalla. And there are sadly no armor dyes for this one, like a red variant, similar to Origins, I think would be pretty cool. But no, blue is all we got. It does have the same voice effect though that we also saw in Origins. When Basim talks while wearing the suit, it will namely sound like this. What was it like the first time you took a life? I always dig little stuff like this. Now the highlight is totally the perk though, as we're getting a bit crazy here. It reads, successful air assassinations set off a flash of lightning to disorient bystanders within a 15 meter radius. So get to the high ground, find a target to jump on and then all the enemies nearby will be caught in this effect, making them dizzy so they won't see you like you're not alerted and you can just assassinate them one by one. Now pro tip, use the assassin's focus to get higher up and then get enemies together with a noisemaker and then you can also jump on them and have them all caught in the effect. You can also use this during combat with a smoke bomb then go higher up and do an air assassination again and the effect will trigger. It's totally less useful during combat as you cannot assassinate enemies all the time but it's still a fun perk. And to get it, we need to hunt mysterious shards. You can already encounter these high value targets early on, but if you follow the main story until after you've killed your first order target, you will get a mission called Old Wounds. Follow that and now you will spot the targets that will be carrying these mysterious shards uh, thanks to the yellow icon. On the map you can of course see how many there are in each district and I found that going to fast travel points and then looking at the compass to spot the yellow icons was the easiest way to get them all. There are 10 shards in total but we only need 5 for the outfit. Of course nice to get them all and then when you have enough head to the northern oasis over here on the map. And then we want to swim in the water and dive down to find a secret entrance. So just follow this, you won't need me anymore and you can discover what it looks like yourself. I think that's more fun. Got more powerful outfits to go over and just some really cool looks. If you liked the video so far then leaving a like would of course be awesome. And subscribe to not miss more Assassin's Creed Mirage content like this. You are probably already aware that there are also costumes in the game that you can wear over outfits. And these are pure cosmetic. Like eventually during the main story you will get the master assassin costume so you cannot miss it it's a cool evolution of basim's alamut suit i love the desert traveler costume as well as it covers a bit of basim's head and i can't help but compare these to origins like this kind of reminds me of the black hood outfit from that game it also has a shoulder pad and this is also a main story reward and i also really like the treasure hunter costume with the very iconic white and red and not a hood but headgear that really fits the setting and you can get this from delivering all the 16 der Vises artifacts and these are also noted on the map and can be spotted with a yellow beam and icon after doing some very early main missions in Baghdad. Now the stealing quick time event is harder for this one but you of course can just turn on that guaranteed pickpocket setting that I talked about in my early things you want to get video. I'll link to that in the video description. You can also put the target to sleep and then steal the artifact or you can kill them and loot it from their body. Whatever you prefer. Then bring the shards back by going to this icon on the map and in the end, you will get the costume. Now the legacy outfits of course also deserve a shout out. We finally have the Ezio Revelations outfit that looks beautiful and fits Basim really well actually. Like this was supposed to be out for Valhalla, but then we got another regular Ezio suit. So I'm happy that we have it now in Mirage. The Altair outfit of course fits perfectly in this game. I really really like it. And I in particular love how the hood sometimes covers Basim's eyes. So yeah, it looks really good and you should totally go to the settings and then turn on the iconic color filter this is the closest we get to an Assassin's Creed 1 remake 
at least right now. Like, I'm still holding out hope. And the surprise for me is totally Basim's Valhalla outfit. That looks way better than in Valhalla. Like, they gave the hood way more detail. It now does not have a cape. So we actually see the red sashes and they move around as well. And that creates this really cool effect when going through the city. Like, I did not expect to like this outfit as much as I do. So you get these by going to the Ubisoft Connect section of the game. Basim's Valhalla outfit is free, so you can immediately claim it. While the Ezio Revelations outfit is 100 points and the Alter Air costume is 60. And you get these points by of course completing the Ubisoft Connect challenges that you can view here as well. And then you will also level up your account and then you get these points. So totally take a look at those and complete them to get the outfits. Now going back to armor with perks because this next one is amazing if you like stealth. For one I really dig the look of this Rustam outfit which is based on a legendary hero in the Persian mythology. The shoulder pad in particular of course steals the show. And I already like the original look but there are two armor dies for it as well. You can get a blue one at any merchant that I think looks decent. But I in particular love the black variant that also makes the shoulder pad silver. Really really cool. I had a ton of questions during my stream about black outfits in the game. Well, this is one of them. And you get this actually from an enigma called a challenge that you can grab over here on the map in the Abyssia region. It's on a balcony. And then to solve it, we want to head actually close by over here on the map in the same district. Near a water mill, you can open a window with your knife and then get inside and grab the die. So that's already cool, but you also want to wear it for the perk because enemies will hear 100% less noise emitted by Basim while moving, meaning that you're basically a ghost when you have this armor fully upgraded. Enemies will only spot you if you're actually in their line of sight or like very close to them. So it's, I think, the best stealth armor in the game. And this is an outfit you get from a side contract in a Hidden Ones Bureau that eventually open up, of course, during the main story very early on. And you can also get the actual outfit very early from the Marked Coins contract that should be on your board after, like, doing a few contracts. So do them and then check back. Now, to get the upgrade schematics, you also just have to do the side contracts with the final side contract, for as far as I know, giving you that final upgrade schematic. So just do all of them and they will eventually be able to upgrade the armor and be completely silent when walking. I also want to give a shout out to the Prince of Persia gear that maybe not too surprising is all about time manipulation. I'm not a real big fan of the look. I prefer some armor for Basim but the perk is again really good. So once during a conflict Basim can survive a lethal hit and slow down time for three seconds up to five if you upgrade the outfit. Now only make sure that you're not burning because they can still die during the slow time effect but normally you you survive and then with the sword from this set equipped you get 20% health back if you kill enemies when the time is slowed down so then in this window you can with throwing knives kill an enemy quickly and with the dagger you create a slow time window on every parry so the tactic is that you can get back to full health without needing an elixir it's really strong but still if you want to use different weapons this outfit is great because then you still have this sort of safeguard in place during each encounter now the prince of persia items are of course part of the deluxe edition or you can buy them separately it also comes with a prince of persia inspired mount and bird skin and again those weapons, but I want to go more in depth on those in my weapons video because there is some cool stuff going on with those. Totally check that video out if you haven't already by clicking on the screen if it's already up. And of course subscribe to not miss any Mirage content. I got way more coming your way. A like on the video would really help me out and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye.